What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today Apple has finally released macOS 13.3 Beta 1 after three long weeks of waiting for some sort of software. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new in the software. So on my M1 MacBook Air, it took up 3.34 gigabytes, and this size will vary depending on if you're using Intel or Apple Silicon. Unlike iOS, if we were to go into our software update, we do not have a beta update toggle quite yet. macOS updates work a little bit differently, so you can see my Mac is enrolled in the Apple Developer Seed program, and there's no way to go back to the public beta from here. So it doesn't seem like as of right now, Apple is going to be checking the Apple IDs, so pirating macOS betas will still be possible. And if we take a look right here, our build number is 22E5219E. So we have an E at the end of the build number, which really doesn't indicate anything anymore at this point. Okay, so what is due with macOS 13.2? And the first thing is, in our display settings, if we were to go to our built-in MacBook display and click on advanced right here, you'll see this new toggle right here that says show resolutions as list. By default, it is turned off because people are probably more comfortable with stuff like this. We now have advanced resolutions and we go on show all resolutions and this will make it super wide. This one down here will make it super big. And if for whatever reason you do not have enough space for more space, you can now go all the way to 250, 60 to 1600, which is kind of overkill for a MacBook screen, but it is still pretty good nonetheless. The next thing has to do with emojis. After more than a year, we finally got some brand new emojis. The most notable one is the pink heart. So this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. People had been wanting the regular pink heart for years and we finally have that pink heart. Now I'm gonna put all the rest of the emojis right here. Okay, so here are all the emojis. We got this weird shaking face emoji. We got three brand new hearts, including the pink heart. We got donkey, a moose, a bird. We just have a ton of brand new emojis and I could see a lot of use for them. The next thing is, is if we go into our home app and then go to our home settings if you have not yet updated the new home architecture and go into software update you will now notice that there's a brand new there's a brand new version of the home architecture that should hopefully be a lot more reliable than the older one now, i'm not sure if i'll be able to test this but i'm pretty sure that if i update my home pod i should be able to use the brand new home architecture correctly now another thing is we got a couple of bug fixes inside of this update so if we were to go into general and then log items usually these things would spam upon logging into the desktop or after a while this has now been fixed according to Apple's release notes another thing that has changed is inside the system settings we were going to go into our iCloud settings this page has been organized a lot better so before all of these all the show all would be opened up by default in fact you couldn't even show less it would all just be cramped all in here just like this and it's just a lot more consistent with iOS now it's a nice change just to make things a lot more neater in here. Next thing is if we were to go into our settings and then scroll down to wallpapers, this has been reworded a little bit. So before this said dynamic desktop, now it says dynamic wallpapers and it has all of the dynamic wallpapers Apple has had for a while. Let in dark wallpapers, this used to say let in dark desktop and this used to say desktop pictures. Now it just says pictures. Kind of a strange move by Apple by just calling this only pictures and not desktop pictures or wallpapers. But I guess they're trying to make it more consistent. And calling this pictures is kind of a strange move because your pictures folder is also a thing. I guess most people don't know about the pictures folder since it's not enabled by default in the finder. So I guess that's why it's this is called pictures. Now the last thing we got is new shortcuts. So I put all the shortcuts in here. We got a stage manager shortcut, lock the screen shortcut, True Tone shortcut, Night Shift shortcut, Intercom shortcut, a VPN shortcut, shut down or restart this device shortcut, and setting airdrop. Really nice features inside of the shortcuts app. Okay, the last thing I'd like to talk to you about is the Geekbench scores of macOS 13.3 beta 1. If I were to pull 13.2.1 and compare it side by side, you will notice that the scores do not get affected at all. The This being lower because it's just by chance, and I'm still going to be using Geekbench 5 as of right now until Geekbench 6 is a little bit cheaper and until we get the history feature in the iOS version of Geekbench. Now let's talk about what is next for Apple in our calendar. 
Next, it's gonna be beta 2 of macOS 13.3. Now, next week, we're probably not gonna get anything on Monday or Wednesday since these are pretty popular holidays. But if anything, we're gonna get on Tuesday or Thursday, or we're just not gonna get anything at all. I think the final release is gonna be in late March right here. And we're probably gonna have an Apple event right here. If that doesn't happen, then we'll probably get it early April. Probably not on Holy Week right here, maybe the week after, unfortunately. That's basically all I have to say about macOS 13.3. Pretty solid release, not as big as we were hoping, but thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!